Okay, okay. Um, well, look, first of all, I want to thank uh, Governor Youngkin, uh, not just for his leadership, but for showing me around today. I think, uh, unfortunately, it's hard to really appreciate the scale of a tragedy until you come and see it with your own eyes. And, and I was able to do that today. I think the biggest thing that I take away from this is, one, uh, people need a lot of resources to rebuild, to rebuild the water system, to rebuild the roads, to put power back on, uh, to restock people's refrigerators. But most importantly, I heard an unbelievable number of stories of incredible human tragedy, but also human heroism that saved a lot of lives and made it so that this very, very significant tragedy wasn't a whole lot worse. I mean, even just a couple of minutes ago, I heard a story of, uh, of, of a family that got out of a house because they took bed sheets, they used them to crawl out of a window and then to go get into a boat where they were eventually rescued. I heard about a husband and wife where the husband was rescued, thought for 20 hours he had lost his wife and then eventually she was found. It really is miraculous, but also a testament to the incredible human courage of the people of Damascus that there wasn't any loss of life. But of course, there was a lot of loss of property and a lot of loss of other things too. And so we're, we're gonna help this community rebuild. Um, I, I know that you know we're, we're of course in the middle of a political campaign. I, I think that one thing I've heard consistently from the governor is that FEMA has provided a lot of resources and of course we're very grateful to that. But I also think that talking to people just on the ground today but also talking to the governor, this is a community that has long been left behind by the leadership of this country. People who have been forgotten, people who have been ignored, people who have, who have been judged despite the fact that they are the nicest people in the world. Uh, I, I gave the mayor a hug and I, I was talking to somebody else along with the mayor and she said we're hillbillies and we're proud of it. And I think this community shows you why people are proud of Appalachian values. They're resilient, they're strong, they love their neighbors and they're going to rebuild this community I believe better than what it was before and that's because of their incredible resilience and the incredible grace of the community of Damascus. I'm, I'm proud to be here, I'm proud that I got my Damascus hat. Yeah. And, and most importantly, I'm just rooting for the people of this region, not just here in Virginia, but of course all across the country in North Carolina, in Tennessee, in Georgia, in Florida, who were affected by this terrible storm. I don't know if the governor wants to say something and then we'll take some questions, but I'm just, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to be here with these great local leaders who have done a good job of providing some real, real leadership in the midst of a terrible tragedy. It could have been a lot worse in Damascus. It wasn't because our leaders responded and I'm most grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to thank the senator for coming. As he said, this is a part of America that's often forgotten about. And it's not forgotten today. And nobody here will uh, ever forget that you came and uh, told them that they matter. And that's what's most important. Listen, this storm was bigger and caused more damage than anybody possibly could have imagined when we were preparing. But I have to say, our first responders were absolutely heroic, rescuing people off of the roofs of hospitals and, and using swift water crews to rescue people out of houses that were being washed away, and everyday citizens doing the remarkable. And that's what this entire region is about. It's about people helping people. It's about the character of a community presenting itself. And as we rebuild, and we're going to rebuild with a lot of help from a lot of people, a lot of people, um, this will be a better community than it was, and it was a pretty darn good community to begin with. And so, we're I don't want to thank everybody for coming today. We got a lot of work in front of us. Uh, we're through the stage where people's lives are at risk, um, but that doesn't mean we're not through the hard work. And so, this is not a 24-hour or 48-hour ordeal. This is going to be months and years of hard work to put everything back together again. So, I look forward to all of you coming back and coming back and giving us a chance to show what Damascus and what Southwest Virginia is all about because it's going to be better than it is today. Amen. Great. Do you guys want to ask yeah. a question? Yeah. We'll, they might want to ask a few questions and then we'll go say hello to them. Yeah, okay. yeah, maybe we'll just take a few questions, guys, for me or anybody else. Um, Senator, will you support the call for Congress to go back into session and pass an appropriations package for the communities affected by housing? Yes, ma'am. Of, co of course we're going to support that. People, I think, need the help and certainly need the support. I think we, we have to make sure that, of course, the people who get the help the most actually need it. And, you know, of course, luckily here in Damascus, as the governor said, we're beyond the point where we're trying to rescue people. Luckily, we rescued everybody. Now we're trying to rebuild. There are, of course, still a lot of communities that are in that most critical phase, especially North Carolina, where they're trying to rescue people. That's, of course, I think where we should focus our nation's time and attention. And, and look, once we do that, we are absolutely going to do what we can to help this community and communities all across Appalachia rebuild. 
Uh, I, you know, what, what, what the governor said about the first responders, I mean, this is hard work. These, these, these guys are glad to do it. They're thrilled to be able to support their communities. But when you talk to people in the midst of a tragedy like this, it is not easy to work long shifts dealing with the most unspeakable human tragedy. They're doing a great job of it, and we got to make sure they get the resources they need to rebuild. And like the governor said, make this community even better than it was before, and it was a hell of a great community before the storm. Senator, how do we make sure that communities like Damascus aren't forgotten after the initial wave of support from the federal government and media attention? You know, I, I think what I've, I've learned in my brief time in public service is the only way that communities like Damascus aren't forgotten is if leadership actually does their job. And uh, look, this is not going to be the last time that I come to Damascus. Hopefully the next time uh, it'll be as vice president when this community is rebuilding. But the governor's not going to let people forget about this community. We're not going to let people forget about this community. And that is ultimately how you keep the focus on the people who need it the most. You just got to provide leadership. And we saw this in Ohio when we had the East Palestine train disaster. There's this initial influx of interest. And then all of a sudden the cameras leave, the politicians leave, and everybody ignores that community. We're not going to let that happen to the people who've been affected by this storm. But it is going to take leadership. And look, I, I, I'm not here to beat up on anybody. But I think when I, when I talk to people on the ground, the one thing that I think the current administration could be doing a whole lot better is making people feel like they matter. For so long, this community has been ignored and they feel like their government is ignoring them once again. We have got to change that. These people, many of them, their parents, their grandparents, their great grandparents literally built this nation into the superpower it is today. We can't ignore them at their time of need. Yeah. Well Any other questions? Well Great. Thank you all so much. I want to go meet this family. Thank you guys.